Okay, so today I want to talk about the uh, the Elite Pen from New Age Tattoo Supply. Uh, I just ordered this the other day, received it in the mail. Haven't had a chance to use it yet, but uh, just wanted to kind of look at it up close and kind of compare it to another pen that I bought. I purchased this uh, last summer. And this is from uh, Easy Tattoo. This is the uh, Cheyenne style, Hawk style tattoo pen. So today I just wanted to kind of compare the two machines. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty much the same size and length. All right, pretty much the same. Uh, they both weigh about the same. Not a major difference with that. Um, I will say the easy pen, I mean the uh, the elite pen, is much easier to turn this grip to adjust your needle depth. All right, it's really easy. Versus this, the uh, Cheyenne style, it's really difficult to turn. It requires a little bit more effort, which you know it's not a big deal, but that's a noticeable difference. And also. Uh, the Easy Pen has an RCA jack, which I really like. You know, most days these people use uh most most people these days use um, RCA connections when tattooing. Versus this with the uh, I believe that's a three and a half millimeter plug-in, which is it's getting more more popular, more com more common, I suppose. But you know, nothing beats the. Uh, convenience of a RCA. So many machines these days have RCA, so that's one of the reasons I purchased this machine. Um, I'm gonna run the two and let you hear the difference in the sound between the two machines. So I got a Cheyenne needle cartridge here. And it fits in with no problem, as you can see. Nice tight fit. All right, let me run this machine. This is around 10 volts, which is, uh, you know, pretty good for lining, for line work. Bring it down a little bit. This is right, 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 right around six and a half volts. Sounds pretty good, nice, smooth, steady sound. You know, that's important. The way the machine sounds, you know, it'll tell you a lot about how it runs, in my opinion. So that sounds pretty good. All right, so that's the Elite. So let's listen to the uh, the Hawk style. Once again, the uh, Cheyenne fits with no problem. Okay. Plug it in. Right, so that's about, it's about six and a half volts. Sound pretty good, let's turn it up a little bit. Let's go up to 10. All right, that's 10 volts. Sounds pretty good to me, you know, like I say, it's no major difference between the, uh, the sound of the two machines. I think they both kind of perform the same way. Uh, I've tattooed with this machine a lot and I love it. I love the way it feels in my hand. It's nice and balanced. Uh, it's a little difficult to line with just because of the, just because how light it is. I'm kind of used to a heavier machine to do line work. But you can definitely line with this thing. And I love it for uh, coloring, solid color feel, and uh, black and gray work. So, well, like I say, these two machines are pretty pretty similar, but I was curious about the uh, Elite Pen. Um, I got this off of New Age Tattoo Supply. 
And the thing that uh, intrigued me the most about this pen is that you can purchase uh, disposable grips. Like, so you can remove this grip that it came with, the metal grip or aluminum. And uh, you can purchase disposable uh, silicone grips to put on here. I thought that was kind of neat. I know some other tattoo companies are kind of going in that direction, but it, this was the first one. Uh, th these are the first people I've seen actually got it for sale now. So I thought that was good. So in the future, you know, like I say, you'll be able to dispose of this. And then, of course, dispose of your needle. So all this will be disposed of. That's pretty neat. Uh, let me talk about what came with this machine. In the, in the package, I received uh, extra O-rings. Just in case the O-rings, you know, for the grip kind of wear out. Got a replacement. It came with two cartridge style needles from, uh, like I said, New Age Tattoo Supply. These are also uh, elite cartridge needles. So they make their own machines and they make their own needles. I haven't used these needles yet, of course, but I'll probably just use them for, you know, doing tests and just trying stuff out. I probably won't actually use them for tattooing. But they seem they seem pretty nice. They seem like they have a bladder in here. I'll open one up later. <laughs> and also it came with a pretty quality, high quality uh, RCA cord. This is pretty nice. It doesn't feel flimsy or anything. It's made out of pretty nice material. And that's pretty much it. Um, this, I paid two hundred dollars even for this machine, and uh, I got you know I, it came to me in about four days in the mail. It went bad, but um, like I said, I'm I'm just curious about this machine. Um, like I I absolutely love this one. You can do anything with this one machine right here. Um, line work, black and gray, coloring. This machine can do it all. Um, but. Like I said, I, was, I saw this one, I was kind of curious about it, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. And plus, I wanted a backup to this machine. Or, you know, either one can play as a backup, either way. In case one goes down, I can just grab the other and keep going. But, you know, I really don't anticipate anything um, going wrong. Also, with this machine, the Elite, uh, I received... Oh, let me grab it here. I received a warranty card, so you know, you know, I guess if anything does happen, I can just get in contact with them and they'll replace it. Not sure how long that's good for, but you know, at least at least a few months. And that is basically it. I just wanted to kind of review these or compare these two machines. I know uh, the pen style tattoo rotary machine is becoming more and more popular. And um, that's about it. If if you're looking to buy, purchase one, um, like I said, this one I paid uh, with shipping. It came out to be like two fifty something. So that you want to probably want to keep that in mind. And this one was two hundred even, the elite. So it was like fifty some bucks less. So you know, that may be a factor for some of you. Um, but they seem to be pretty pretty decent machines. And um, that's it.